Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. After the plaster and stone impression mix has hardened, one can now separate the impression from the model and trim the model on the model trimmer. The uh, important thing that one must remember in trimming the model is to maintain approximately a quarter of an inch to the landing area. Now remember, this is an impression plaster and stone mix, and therefore this model cuts very easily on the model trimmer, reducing the stone back to your impression. Cross the posterior border. Coming around the buckle flange. The labial flange. Again, the labial flange. And the buckle flange. At this point, you should also inspect the thickness to the flange. As you can see here, we are still quite thick. This should be approximately a half inch. And that final uh, modification can be performed by carefully holding the model. Again, trimming this model. Until the flange is approximately a half inch in height. Just a little more here. Similarly, one should inspect the base thickness to this model. Again, you can see it is quite thick, and it should be reduced by After uh, the preliminary trimming with the model trimmer, we then can adjust the landing area with a sharp knife and trim this around completely the buckle flanges up on into the posterior region, again smoothing out this landing area with the sharp knife, proceeding on to the buckle flange region following this around to the labial flange, again trimming this through, and then completing this development of the landing area, rejoining the posterior buckle flange. Once one has uh, made those adjustments, then you can do the final modification back on the model trimmer.
Now, similarly, for the lower uh, model, one should also reduce the, uh, the boxing edge. Again, following completely around. Flange areas. Forming the boxing edge or the landing area and joining that out. Now in the, in the area of the tongue space where you filled this in, you should again try to remove this particular large amounts of stone. Give yourself room to get into this area for working at a later date. Now we can make again the final changes on the, uh, the model trimmer. Now the final step in the uh, preparation of this working model will be to cleanse the stone model of debris and residual uh, plaster and stone. Using a uh, number seven spatula, the areas of imperfection that uh, one visualizes on the stone here can now be carefully removed by uh, just popping them off very carefully large one here now this can be done and performed on the preliminary model because this is a working model and it will be used it will be used to make a tray uh, imperfections of this nature on the maxillary cast however uh, would of necessity have to be removed one should also note at this particular point that we have a landing area in this particular region we have a landing area across the back a part of the cast. And if we go to just a little wider shot, we can show that we have uh, landing areas located, for instance, uh, up here in the labial region that are approximately an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, and similarly over in this area here. Now, if I turn this to you in this manner here, you can see that, that down into the depths of the flanges here, uh, we also have a few little imperfections, and those can, again, be carefully removed uh, in this area. A little one there. Over here. During this batch that we can get that out. Now, once you have removed the majority of these, you can then take the gauze uh, cloth here and uh, wipe these perfection, imperfections off and uh, proceed to perform the same uh, on the lower model. Now, on the mandibular model, we had a uh, few small uh, imperfections. We have one located down here. We can pop that one off, and we have a few down in here, one in here. And as I turn this toward you, I think you can see we have one right here. And we have one up in this vicinity in here. Areas like that. And again, remove all of these. The tongue space is now wide open access to us for our wax up, things of that nature, preparation for 
for the construction of our trays. I'm listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.